Night fam, what you're about to see are some of the most raw reactions to life sentences. It's very interesting in how many different ways people react to spending the rest of their lives in prison. First on the list, Ryan Stone, who got 160 years in prison. He stole a few cars and started a long high-speed chase. The whole chase lasted over 90 minutes and one of the cars he stole on his way had a baby on the back seat. He was even proud and bragged about it to his friends and prison visitors. You're ridiculous. But when he hears the insanely long sentence, there was a shift in his tone. Time to start a family of my own with my beautiful wife. Some people get sad, but many get angry. Judge Jumper. He tortured a baby and eventually killed it. Unfortunately, you can't see any remorse on his face as he hears the sentence. I'm gonna let you sit here, say At some point, he loses it all and can't stop fighting, so he had to be escorted. And it's just so sad to hear his mom cry in the background. And speaking of a crying mom, Jack Leal from Michigan. He killed a mother of five and threw her to trash afterwards. He got sentenced to 100 years for what he did and after the sentence his reaction was this. This is pretty disturbing. How can you have this little remorse for your actions? But hey, I don't want to talk too much. Or I'll end up like this guy. In the state of Louisiana, one convict couldn't stop talking as the judge was trying to announce the sentence. He was talking and talking until finally the judge lost his patience. I'm gonna gag you in one second, so just listen to me. He put a tape on his mouth, which still didn't work. That's what it is. Do you think putting a tape on his mouth was okay? Or was it wrong? On the other hand, a guy who did not talk at all was this teenager who murdered an elderly woman. Not only was he smiling as the judge announced the sentence, but also he decided to take a nap. It's when you look at guys like him that you can feel good about justice being served. But what will not make you feel as good is the reaction of some teenagers. Like the 19 years old Alexis Sexton from Ohio who as a babysitter repeatedly dropped a baby on its head damaging his brain forever. This was her reaction to the sentence. I don't know why it happens. It scares me. Another teenager, Fernando Salgado from California, couldn't take his sentence too. And last but not least, the teenagers from South Carolina, Drake Campbell and Jacob Muzon. They did armed robbery and killed an innocent person. It's sad to see how some young people could end up doing this. It's pretty sad to see how they wasted their lives. <laughs> Before doing my research, I was confident all I'm gonna see are only psychopaths with no emotions or angry people like this guy. You don't let me out of here, I'm gonna f kill you. Yet, not everyone is the same. It's mind-boggling to see how some people cry when they hear they're gonna be locked up in prison, but they never thought about how their innocent victims felt while committing the crimes. And that's why I hope many people see this. People who do bad things and feel untouchable. It's good to remind them that more often than not, justice is served.